Sheila, and I have a little bit of news for you. In case you didn't hear, Birchbox is going up on their prices. Ah! I was a little nervous when I heard this. I'm like, oh no, I have a couple different subscription boxes. How much more is it gonna go to? Can I afford it in my budget? So here's the news, in case you haven't heard or read it already. All right, you ready? So, if you already subscribe to Birchbox, if you pay monthly or you only do a three month subscription, your price is going up to $13 a month. Whew, that is going to be much worse. $3 more may break the bank for some, may be like nothing to others. It's $3 more a month. If you do the six month subscription, your price is going to be $12.50 a month. And if you do a year long subscription, it's going to go down to $12 a month. So, it's up to you to see is that extra dollar or 50 cents worth saving by you know committing to a longer subscription it's up to you so let me tell you what it's going to be for people who do not have a birch box yet so if you have not already signed up for birch box after march 24th they are upping the prices so if you want to get locked in do it before march 25th i would say before march 24th to be on the safe side if you're brand new and you only do a month or three month subscription, it will be $15 a month, okay? And if you do a six month subscription, it will be $14 a month. And if you do a year long subscription, it will go down to $13 a month. So basically after March 25th, even if you do a whole year long subscription, the lowest rate you're gonna get is the highest point that those of us that are grandfathered in will pay. For those of you that are in this program that they have called ACES, which means you spend $300 a year with Birchbox, you will only pay $10 a month. Here's my thing. If you're considered an ACE and you're like their VIP and you're spending $300 a year with them, your only benefit is that your price doesn't go up. It would have been cool, in my opinion, if they had dropped theirs down to let's say even $9.50 as an incentive or something and kept the rest of us at wherever it's at if we're not spending our money with Birchbox. But it kind of sucks for the Aces that their only incentive is, hey, you're locked in to $10 a month. I, mean, I guess it's better than nothing, right? They could have just went up on them too. The thing that I thought was kind of cool is that if you decide to pay for a year-long subscription or a six-month subscription, heck, even a three-month subscription, you no longer have to pay the lump sum up front. That you just are locked into that commitment, kind of like a gym membership where you're locked into a year-long commitment anyway, but they still only charge you monthly. It's kind of that same thing. So I love it. I love the fact that um, they won't make me pay like a huge chunk at a time because maybe my car note is due and I do not want to pay for a 12-month subscription at the same time that my car note is due. The CEO went on Facebook Live and said that one of the reasons that they're upping their price is because they've had the same pricing for the past, we'll say, nine years that they've been in business which is a long time. I mean, considering the cost of inflation and, and everything else that goes up, I and mean, heck, even postage has gone up so much in just the past couple months, let alone a couple years, and they have stayed at $10 a month, which I commend them for doing so, but honestly, truthfully, they've got to make money too. I mean, let's be real. If you think about the cost of packaging everything, shipping everything, paying your employees, buying those little boxes, it does cost money. Heck, I even wonder how they were able to do it for $10 a month, but I didn't care because as long as I was getting it and I liked the samples, it wasn't that bad. But what they're saying is that because they're able to get a little bit more money from the subscribers, they're actually able to potentially give us better product, which is exciting that they said their samples will be, you know, maybe newer brands that are coming out or different types of products or new launches. So that's pretty exciting. I mean, $3 a month more does kind of stink a little bit, but if I'm going to get better samples that I will enjoy more, then okay, it may not hurt me that bad. But she also said in the next few months, you can look forward to getting not five, but six items in our birch boxes. So hey, that's kind of cool, an extra little item. I wonder if they're going to stick with that and keep doing six, or is it going to go back down to five? So I guess we'll have to stay tuned and find out. Another thing that was mentioned is that they're going to try to have faster shipping. Not really sure how much faster, they just mentioned faster shipping, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, they said that they're gonna work on their personalization, which is pretty cool because they're gonna 
try to match what we want a little bit better with what we get. So they're going to try to play with their algorithms, maybe ask a couple more questions in our beauty profiles to get us what we really want, which is cool because sometimes we get these boxes and we're like, yo, this, I'm not going to use any of this. This stuff sucks. And we just kind of toss it out. But hopefully with their new little algorithm things they want to do, we'll get more of the things that we want. So that's something to hopefully look forward to. They also said that they're going to start having multiple curated boxes each month, which means we can actually pick which curated box we want if we want to have that control. Like some of us really like being in control of what we get. If you like having that control, you can actually pick from the different curated boxes. Or you can be like me and be like, I just like a surprise. I like it feeling like it's Christmas every time I get one of these boxes and I just want to open it up and see what I got for the very first time. So starting in June, they're going to have something called Swap for Points which basically means you hit a little skip button and you don't get a birch box, but you still get charged for it for that month. It's a little weird to me because if I'm paying for it, why would I not want my birch box? But I guess maybe there's not going to be a sample that you like inside of there and you're like, I would rather not waste my $10 or $13 or $15 a month on that box. And instead, I would rather put that money towards a full-size product. Who knows, maybe if one day there's a box that literally has absolutely nothing that I see a value in it, maybe I'll hit that little skip button. But until then, I don't mind getting my little samples. But, I mean, I guess it's a cool option. And however much you pay is how many points you get. So if you pay $13 a month, you'll get 130 points. If you pay $10 a month, you get 100 points, so on and so forth. You get the point. You can figure out math, I hope. I'll give you my personal point of view and tell you what I think about this whole new transition thing of tiered membership or tiered payment. Initially in their business model, they thought about sending out tons of samples to women for skincare and makeup and hoping that people will turn around and buy stuff from Birchbox.com. Well, honestly, it probably didn't work out that way because there's retailers like Ulta and Sephora and Macy's where you can actually walk into a store and try on stuff and actually buy it there too. So. You know, those stores have been around for so long that people have already built loyalty and built points with these different places. So I don't blame them for not going straight to Birchbox and buying things from there. However, yeah, it would be cool if you did get an item from Birchbox that you turn around and spend your money at Birchbox.com. But truthfully, especially if you're like me and you have several subscription boxes, are you going to really remember that this little blue bottle of face cream came from your Birchbox subscription or did it come from Sephora Play or did it come from Ipsy? Are you going to remember? I probably would. It's not going to be at the top of my mind to go on Birchbox.com and be like, oh, did I buy this from here? And, or did I get this uh, little sample from here? Let me go buy it from there so I can support. Because honestly, I don't want my beauty points spread out throughout several different stores. That's my honest truth and I'm sure that's a lot of people's truths and it's nothing against Birchbox. Because everyone has a business model, everyone wants to make money, and I completely understand. But for some people, a subscription box is simply a subscription box. I just want to try out awesome samples from your company, and that's what I utilize your company for. Nothing more, nothing less. So let's well, babes, I hope I was able to give you some information. If you didn't take time to read this already somewhere, or someone didn't already spill the beans to you, I hope you learned something. Let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? Are you going to continue subscribing, or are you going to cancel your subscription let me know make sure you like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and most of all hit that little bell shaped thing so that you know when a new video is coming out and most importantly write something in the comment section tell me your thoughts i'll comment back i promise you i'll comment back thank you babes i love you and i can't wait to see you next time